Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel for six things that we learned from Sheffield United 2, Chelsea 2. At this point, do you know what? I can't even get angry. I've had a beautiful weekend. I had a stunning Sunday roast today. It was delightful. Chicken, stuffing, red cabbage, parsnips, carrots, roast potatoes. We even put the flipping roast on, went out for a walk, came back and it was cooked. Got excited, watch Man United versus Liverpool. 2-2, two -two, good game of football, entertainment. Two teams that played well, United. And then I watched Chelsea again. I watch that team that I call my team. The love of my life, as I call them. The team that get me excited. The team that leave me on tenterhooks wanting more, even when we're rubbish. But I tell you what, I am so sick to death of going backwards and forwards saying, oh, we might have turned a corner now to watching the same old dross happen every single week. We can't go two games in a row and look like a team. We can't go two games in a row and give the effort and play at the intensity that is necessary to be seen as a Premier League club. We played today against the Sheffield United team and no disrespect, they fought until the very end. But let's be honest, a spade it's a flipping spade, mate. They're one of the worst teams that have ever graced the Premier League. They've got such an awful record this season. They're battered every single week. And yet Chelsea go to Bramall Lane and we gift them two goals. We played so poorly today. I'm sorry, there has to be serious questions asked at the top of this football club. Maybe they don't even need to be asked about Maurizio Pochettino because, you know, the players give up. Piss off, man. The questions need to be asked about why there isn't enough questions being asked at this football club. Why do we look at this mediocrity that we see game after game, week after week? Look, don't let the fact that Cole Palmer scored a hat-trick. He didn't play that well today, but he wasn't awful. Don't let the fact he scored a hat-trick against United paper over the fact that we played against such an awful side and even Man United, we, we won the game 4-3, but we didn't play well. Every single week we are seeing average, lacklustre Chelsea performances. And I'm sorry, but something has got to give. And the manager isn't inspiring the players enough. The manager isn't getting enough out of the team. What we're seeing game after game at the moment is Chelsea looking as though they're a team that is full of individual quality. Players who... Maybe in three years, four years, five years, they might become quality players, but we're not a team. There is no togetherness. There is no camaraderie and unity when it comes to being like, look, OK, this is Chelsea Football Club. This badge is worth something to so many people. This badge has history. It has heritage. And we should play for that with an intensity that makes us look at least like we want to go up the table. And to be quite honest, when I see this, I'm starting now to believe some conspiracy theories that maybe Chelsea don't want to be in Europe because we won't pass the FFP test, so we just don't want to be in European competition. At this point, the amount of disrespect that we give to teams that aren't Man United, Liverpool, City, Arsenal, we turn up against those. Why do we not turn up ever against the teams at the bottom of the table? It was so poor, so lacklustre, and I've seen enough. I want to see the manager gone. I don't think Pochettino should be able to walk into Cobham tomorrow because clearly there's a motivational issue here. Clearly, this Chelsea team don't have anybody, whether that's the owner, whether that's the staff, the players amongst themselves. Like, how can you not get up for a game of football as a Chelsea player? Like... Does it, do, I've been here in the UK now for three weeks. I'm going back to Bali tomorrow. I went to the Burnley game and I was fuming like I am now. I watched the Man United game on TV and you get buzzed about individual players. You get buzzed about those moments that they are so beautiful. They are so valuable in football. But the narrative around Chelsea remains the same. We're a bang average team who play up to the standard of those that we're playing against. When it's a lower bottom of the table team, we play like we're bottom of the league. When it's a team that are top, we play like we're top, but like it's, you can't play Man City every week. I wish we could. At least then we might actually turn up and play. 
The intensity today was all over the place. My voice is going. I'm actually leaving England and I'm getting sick right at the end of my flipping trip, which is not ideal. But we started the game pretty well. We were in control for the first 25 minutes. Thiago Silva gives us the lead and I'm delighted for him. It's such an easy goal. That's the level of opposition we're playing against today. Conor Gallagher puts the ball in. Silva manages to somehow volley it from 18 yards and it's 1-0 to Chelsea. The game continues to go on. Sheffield United get an equaliser before half-time. We go in at half-time, the score is 1-1. Come out and start the second half. And again, we just don't turn up. Like, what is it that Pochettino says at half-time that we still see the same average dross from the moment the second half starts? Sheffield United are all over us. There was like a 30-minute spell of the game where we don't even get a single shot. Didn't have a single shot. For 30 minutes of the football match against the team, bottom of the Premier League. It's an absolute disgrace. We go 2-1 up. Nonny Madweki puts the ball into the top corner. Again, individual brilliance. A moment, a great moment from Nonny. Makes it 2-1 to Chelsea. And then again, we don't kill the teams off. We don't look at the opposition and see what we have failed with. All flipping season. We go 1-0 up. And we just let our foot off the gas. It's 1-1. Oh, look what we've done. 2-1 up. The same flipping thing. Again and again and again, we just let teams into the game because there isn't any desire, any intensity to kill it off. And Ollie McBurney, it's a flipping McDonald's meal, puts the ball in the back of the net to make it Sheffield United 2, Chelsea 2 in the final deaths of the match. It's just so draining. We've drawn 2-2, been in front four times against the bottom two teams in the league and we have thrown it away. The disgrace. It makes the Man United game irrelevant. It makes the whole thing flipping irrelevant. Anyway, I'm going to squat, get close to the ground. I need to be grounded. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just so sick and tired of this flipping team. I've had enough. Honestly, I'm getting pissed off. Let's go through the six things that we learned. I've given a green. Bloody hell, Benson, how have you done that? Thiago Silva, just happy for him to score a goal, to be quite honest. We move. Box number two is a red for intensity. What is it about this Chelsea team where they just don't look at Premier League matches, don't look at all of those people that have paid such good money during a cost of living crisis to go to Sheffield and to put in such an average, lacklustre display again? Why aren't we getting up for these games? Why can we not see Sheffield United and be like, we're going to go out there, we're going to beat you, we're going to give the fans their money's worth and we're going to entertain. Nothing. This is not a team. This is a bunch of individuals who individually could be really good players, but you ask them to play as a team, it's disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Box number three is a red for Gallagher, who I didn't think had his best game today. And I want to know, Pochettino, why is Conor Gallagher... When Mudrick's on the bench, even Sterling is on the bench. Why is Gallagher the left winger? Conor Gallagher on the left wing. Like, I feel as though it's become a joke. We are literally a joke. We're a laughing stock in the Premier League. Maurizio Pochettino is playing Conor Gallagher left wing. What is going on? Mudrick, who's been brilliant recently, doesn't start again. Comes on with 10 minutes to go. It's as, it's, I'm completely lost. Box number four, I've given a green for Nani Madweki. Given a green because he scored a great goal. I think he's direct. I think he goes for it. I think he's a player who wants to be starting, who tries, still so raw, naive at moments. I think someone's got to teach him what I was always told as a kid, which is not to lean back when you shoot. If we have a, if we had a, even a half decent coach, maybe he'd learn that. I don't know, but we've got Pochettino in charge, guys. So I'm not surprised that he doesn't know. Box number five, is a red for the first time on this channel for Petrovic, who I think can absolutely do better for both goals. The first one gets beaten at the near post. He's diving away from his goal. Like what, you're anticipating a, sh a cross, mate? Wait, it's just bang average, so average. And then for the second one, he's so static on his line, doesn't get down quick enough to McBurney's goal, and he should be putting pressure on there. How we've conceded that goal is baffling. It's one of the worst goals we've conceded this season. How many headers did Chelsea miss there at the end of that game? Absolutely mind-blowing. 
I'm going to finish box number six here. This is draining me, guys. It's absolutely killing me, this flipping football club. It's killing me. My voice is gone. I'm literally going to go and eat like 12 crumpets in a minute. I might even stick a whole tub of butter on it. Two tubs of Marmite. Nicholas Jackson. What is Nicholas Jackson? Really good player in the channels. And I'm going to say it right now. I think Nicholas Jackson, play him in midfield, mate. Stick Nicholas Jackson in midfield. Give Caicedo a rest. Give Enzo and Gallagher the pivot. And let Jackson be the advanced midfielder. I don't know what he is. I don't know what he is. He's not a left winger. Not sure he's a striker. The man doesn't look up and look for his teammates. But he does things that are good. But I'm like, nearly, 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 nearly. I'm, I'm beaten up after this, guys. If you're not yet subscribed to the George Benson Football Channel, please do. Please like this video for my sanity. And please subscribe to my vlog channel. Because I'm going to try and keep everything sane there. See you guys later.